You know, I know a lot of people uh, want to be an engineer because they see other people doing it and they see the attention that engineers get, but it's a dirty job. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's not something that anybody can do. It's, it's it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of uh, uh, focus because you you got to pay attention to the producers who are bringing their music in, the musicians that are coming in to play. You got to pay attention to the artist who's recording. You got to pay attention to where everything is at at what specific time. Sometimes you got to mix down right there. You got to pay attention to where everything is at, where everything is mixed at first, second, and third verses. You got to pay attention to uh, you know how many days you sometimes you may have a time limit you may have to do an album in five days You may have to do an album in three days. You understand what I'm saying and you got to pay attention to uh, the the recordings and, and, and where everything is at at whatever given time Sometimes you'll have people coming in and they don't even have lyrics written So what you gonna do are you gonna be able to uh, help them write their lyrics and, and get their lyrics recorded? I mean what about that sometimes they ain't got no harmonies and they just come in with just the words on their paper and you got to somehow figure out how you're going to take the words on their paper and make it pop, you know, as an engineer. So, you know, I know a lot of people that's asking me, oh, yeah, man, I want to be an engineer, man. I want to get out there and, and, and be an engineer, man. And But it's not for the faint at heart, man. It's not, you know, you know, there's sometimes you got artists coming in. They got an attitude problem and you got to build a rapport with them and, and be the leader. And, and your, your emotions have to stay uh, level headed. Because a lot of times you you'll run into uh, people, and uh, yeah, that's my phone. You can you can, you can still keep rolling. Uh, it's, uh, fluidic. I'll call him back. But um, but uh, you know, it's a lot of people that the, a lot of artists are gonna come into the studio, and they're they're not uh, they're not sure about what they want to do. They, they come in with an attitude. And sometimes they'll be in the booth for like five minutes. They get out the studio, walk out, walk down the street, and you know, you know, you you're on a roll. You're trying to record, and you know, sometimes they'll they'll talk mess about you, and you gotta just keep, you know, keep it, uh, you know, keep it straight, keep your emotions, keep your emotions down. I had, there's been times where I've had cast in the studio, man. Like, there's something that's being recorded, and and a, and a wave file gets erased by some reason with the computer. And the artist is ready to fight. You know, they're ready to, to beat you down. And, and you know, people got to hold them back. But at the end of the day, you know, you have to maintain a certain presence. You got to maintain a certain order. And I don't mean a certain order as in, like, bossing people around. You got to maintain order in yourself, you know, in your emotions. Because people are going to test you. People will come in the studio and tell you anything and everything. And you got to understand where your place is, you know. And, and you know, uh, you know, that's important to keep your composure you know what I'm saying and uh, I know there's a lot of people that ain't got that patience that kind of patience or they want to run the studio they want to produce everything and if they ain't producing everything they don't want to have nothing to do with it they don't know how to appoint uh, uh, other musicians and other producers into the picture to get the greatest song they can and you know I think there's a lot involved with engineering and if you want to be an engineer you got to really uh, put as much energy as you can into being patient and understand that this, if, is this really what you want to do? Because it's not an easy job. This is the job that don't nobody want to do. Nobody wants to do this job. You understand what I'm saying? This, this is a job don't nobody want to do because it takes time and you know people come in with like their raw idea and you know people are like, look man, don't even holler at me until I'm ready to mix it down. You know what I'm saying? But the recording phase is the most toughest phase to try to get what's in someone's head onto. Uh, onto wax to where it could be, you know, presented to the masses and, and, and you know, there's a lot of people that ain't ready for that. So really do your homework. If you're ready for it, you know, you know, be be honest with yourself. Cause it's a hard job. It's definitely a hard job.